lovies what the wretch is up fam welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is terri ann or ta and i am a boston based lifestyle youtuber and blogger if you are not new here hi welcome back how are you thanks for joining again so it is february 27th it's saturday um and today is going to be kind of an interesting day I'm going to attempt to do two DIY projects that I've been wanting to get done for a while. As you guys know, I am still working on our master bedroom um, makeover. Um, only one thing has really gotten done, which is um, Mike put up the rod, the curtain rod. Um, I have the rings for the curtain rod. I haven't gotten curtains. I'm still looking for two nightstands and this like dresser thing, and I put in offers on the various dressers and haven't gotten them i'm gonna do a whole separate video for both of these diys where i like walk you through exactly what i'm going to be doing but um it's interesting because they're kind of the same diy for two different purposes the first diy i'm going to do is i'm going to try to make an ornate gold frame for the television in our bedroom and i'm going to try to run the high wires um, from the little devices that we have by the television and hide them because I just think it looks so ugly and I just, it's such an eyesore so I just wanna fix that. The second thing I wanna do is a wedding DIY but it is essentially the same project. Um, we are doing something different for a wedding which I don't wanna talk about until after the wedding. Um, it's not very different or extraordinary or anything but mm, I'm really bad at measurements um, so when I see a measurement online when I'm ordering something, I it is always wrong. It's always off in my head from what it is in real life, and I'm too lazy to like go get a measuring tape and just like plot it out. So I ordered something for the wedding, and it is massive, you guys. It is so big, um, but I think it's even better that it's this size, to be honest. <laughs> um, um, so I'm building a custom frame for the thing that I ordered. Okay, so we are here at Home Depot looking at the different trim. I think this trim is so cute and I love these, but obviously these are super, super thin and we need something a little bit thicker for uh, the one thing I'm doing, at, for the very least, for the television frame. So I found this one for the one wedding DIY we're doing, which is a little bit smaller. And I like this pattern so much that I've chosen it also for the television trim, but it's just the same pattern and a bit like wider, which will look, it'll stand out next to the television on the wall. The other bigger trims, I wasn't too much of a fan of. Like this is nice and simple and clean. And I might use something like this if this project goes well for something else but I wanted something just a little bit more ornate, and so I'm gonna go with this pattern. Mike and I like to come to Home Depot and like plan our kitchen and realize how um, pricey it's gonna be because we both have really expensive taste. Everything we like is always outrageously expensive. <laughs> And also, it's not even just that too. I think everyone likes expensive things, right? That's so, so true. Also, the thing that's bad about Terry and I is we both both also hate the inexpensive thing. Yeah. That's what really. That's what the difference. So is. then we're always just like, well, I guess we're just gonna wait and like, just wait until we can afford the expensive thing, and uh, that is kind of where we live at all the time. I look at houses and I get so angry when I see stovetops, like glass stovetops. I'm like, I want a range, what is this? There are other things though that I like here. Anyways, we found everything we need for the DIYs and now we're just kinda oh, yeah. hanging out. Well, 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 you can look around here, I'm gonna go grab, look at the saws. Okay, yeah. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So, we have the trim. Okay, so we also have the paintbrush for the white paint because the wood absorbs the spray paint. We have the corner clamps here to put the corner of the frames together. Wood filler to fill any gaps. Antique gold spray paint. And then we have a miter box saw. And so miter box saws just basically help you, you like put the wood in here and then it helps you cut like perfect angles. So since we're making frames, the corner of the frames 
have to be like a perfect 45 degree angle. We're doing a little makeshift thing here. As you can see, this is the trim. You're just figuring it out as we go. Is that the TV one? Yeah. And this is the drill we got. Mike almost killed everyone. He plugged it in and tried it. Mike. I need to measure this first. <laughs> that thing cuts fast. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. And today, it is Sunday. Today, we are going to be going to Mike's parents' house. His dad is at the Florida house, which you guys have seen. We've gone there. Um, and his mom is still here. So we're gonna go hang out with her. We're gonna have breakfast with her. And then I think afterwards, we're gonna go into Natick. And you're gonna go, what, play virtual golf, babe? Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna play some virtual golf. Golf. I assume you're gonna be using the clubs that you wanna buy. No, I'm gonna bring my old clubs. Oh. Yeah, I thought this was a way to try out the new clubs you wanted. It's going to be. I, I wanna test out that place first to see if they're even worth doing that too, because I don't wanna like, get there to test out clubs and like that's a whole different sort of um, process and if I don't like the people who work there like I just don't feel like getting pressured into something oh okay yeah. all right interesting how's your iPad mom oh it's awesome yeah yep um Hey guys, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. As you saw from the last little clip with that little spoon, we were at Mike's mom's house. Um, I think his dad is, oh, I already said this, his dad's in Florida, so it was just her there. And so we had breakfast with her, we had some amazing waffles, she made bacon, and like these bacon wrapped things that she makes that I'm obsessed with, we had those. And just like when I go to see my own mom, every time we go there, we come back with some treats, so we have some extra bacon stuff to eat. And then we have some like heirloom candlesticks um, from Mike's grand, great, great grandmother, I think. Um, that we're gonna be using for our wedding. So she gave us those today. Um, and actually, they're actually also a gift. So they're just gonna be ours as well. I think one is gonna be Mike's brother's and then one is gonna be ours, which is super sweet. So yeah, we left a little while ago and I'm just sitting in a parking lot. Mike had a plan to come to this place. It's called the PGA Superstore. Let me show you. So it's basically that place right there. It's some golf place and it's a it's a golf place and Mike is in there playing golf, I think, but basically he's just gonna test the place out. He brought his own clubs and I think there's a virtual place for him to like virtually play golf and he's gonna do that. He had an appointment for about half an hour there and I think he's doing that because he wants new golf clubs and he's trying to figure out if he likes this place enough to get it from there. I really don't know, not super interested. So <laughs> I really kept up with what's going on there but he's been in there for a little while now. The, the appointment's only half an hour but I was watching Lydia Dinga. I love her vlogs like i started watching her like two years ago because um she does a lot of travel vlogs but yeah lydia dinga is my favorite and she's doing this home renovation now so i was just watching that and i was like oh i should actually just film a quick clip so that's what we're doing right now once he's out of there i'm i think we're gonna head home and i'm gonna finish doing some of the frame stuff and i think i'm gonna film like two more reels for instagram and um yeah that's it so that's where we are now did you, did you not know that? No, I didn't know that. Because the amount of gas you're using is so minimal because you're not use, moving. Yeah. But if you just run the accessory, all you're doing is just using the battery and you're going to kill the battery. Interesting. Yeah. So explain to people what you're doing because I was like, I actually don't care. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. So I just went to the PGA Superstore in Natick um, because I'm looking to get new golf irons but or new iron set. Um, and I wanted to test them out before I buy them because there's so much money. Um, but I came here first to do it just to use their bays. They, they offer off using their bays 
30 minutes, 10 bucks. So I just like, oh, I'll bring my own clubs, use their bays, see what the employees are like, see what the store is like, and just to get a general vibe because I didn't want to just book an appointment to buy clubs. And if they were like, if it was like a crappy store, if the employees were like pushy or whatever. So I went here, got a really good vibe from it. It's really nice inside. So I'm going to come back, book another session with these people at some point. Um, but I, yeah, I just want to get a good vibe for it. So here you go. Hope you guys were interested in golf because you got that, that, a lot. That part's getting cut. <laughs> None of that's making it in. Sorry, Editor Terry. That was a lot for you, I know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Unbreakable